Lens is a collaboration of nine facilities uh, which provide neutron scattering capabilities to scientists and researchers across Europe. Neutrons can be used to look at materials in the most general sense. The materials goes from the cells in your body to metals that are used to build bridges. They're all types of materials. And to understand either the COVID pandemic or how to build better bridges, we need to understand those materials at the scale of atoms. And neutrons is one of the techniques that uh, enables you to do that. We've had collaborations between the neutron and muon sources um, now for over 30 years. And for a large part of that time, there was a convenient structure through EU-funded collaborations. That structure is no longer there, but because the collaboration is so important to us, we decided it was necessary to essentially form that structure for ourselves, and that's how LENS came about. So LENS has uh, four structures in four different working groups. Uh, one of the working groups deals with policy and the political relationships, for example, to the uh, European Commission or to national funding agencies and so on. We have a working group which really deals with all what I call the user-related issues. And then we have two working groups which are technical collaborations. Um, one of them is really what I call hardware related. So it's, it's the physical bits of the infrastructure that we build together. And the other one is specifically software and data. If we all did everything separately by ourselves, then first of all that's inefficient. It takes longer to make progress. It's also very expensive because we're repeating the same things multiple times. We realise it's much more effective that if we collaborate on developments, then it goes much faster for the best of us. And we have, we have many great successes from that.